Well, folks, we're back with Politics Done Right live from Netroots Nation 2022. And I am honored to be with Rob Call. He is the editor and the owner and the publisher of Op-Ed News. And uh, thank you so kindly for being out here with us today, Rob. It's a pleasure. Look, let me, let me, let me first tell you, um, you have a message for progressive writers, for writers in general, about your site. Why don't we talk a little bit sure. about that? Well, Op-Ed News has been around 19 years. We've reached as many as 800,000 unique visitors a month. We reach almost every country in the world. We've published over 100,000 articles. And one of our main messages is to help people who are activists, who are engaged in, in projects to make a difference to get their message out. Mm -hmm. So we love to see articles come in describing projects, describing protests, uh, whistleblowers. Mm -hmm. uh, we won an award uh, for, for supporting whistleblowers from the whistleblower community. And so w I invite you, if you've got a project that you're working on, whether you're an individual or a group, to submit an article about it or a series of articles about it. Uh, some of our topics, we've had a thousand articles on them, like uh, election integrity before mm -hmm. the Republicans grabbed the term. And uh, so we basically want to help you. We, it's free. There's no charge for it. You sign up. You submit your article, and we'll publish it, and then give you some exposure and uh, get the so you can get the word out. Uh, please, uh, it, it's an it's an important site. I I uh, published there as well, so I mean I think uh, it is. Look, if you want a, a good progressive site, actually I say progressive site because I guess a lot of most of the folks there are progressive. It's but, a mix. But everybody goes ahead and um, and write from just about every ideological perspective. Well, you know, we, we uh, I founded it for as a progressive, mm -hmm. wanting to get a progressive message out. But we get some libertarians who have some ideas that are that work, and right. you know, I try to keep an open conversation dial and dialogue right. going. Uh, so we get some stuff that not everybody agrees with, but I think it's but really important that, to have yeah. a, a safe place to have conversation. So I'll publish some things that I totally disagree with sometimes, because I know that our readers are going to comment on it, and right. if somebody's saying something that is antithetical to progressives, th then okay. Like some I won't, but some I will, especially if they're like less frequently discussed. And then our readers are going to come in the comments mm -hmm. and they're going to straighten it out and they're going to give answers to, to that other people can then use to help to have conversations about it with the people who advocate for these. And that is opednews.com. Opednews.com. So folks, don't forget to check out opednews.com. Now, I want to talk to you about something else, Rob. Uh, you, you, you told me. Do you know, Egberto, there is also author, author, how do you say? Authoritarian. authoritarianism between, within the Democratic Party. And I said, uh, really? How so, Rob? Why don't you talk a little bit okay. about well, that? Well, you know, I wrote the book, Bottom Up Revolution. So right. I've spent a lot of time thinking about and having conversations about bottom up versus top down thinking. Right. Authoritarianism, of course, is very top down thinking. There are two kinds of authoritarians. Mm -hmm. The one authoritarian says, I'm going to tell you what to do. Mm -hmm. The 99% of authoritarians are, please tell me what to do. Mm -hmm. And uh, frankly, there are a lot of progressives and Democrats who want that. I was in a panel today, and it was a well-intentioned, good panel, but they're, they're basically looking to legislators to make all the changes happen. And that happened. Give me an example that you, uh, in, 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 are you saying they're try that these folks are trying to delegate uh, the responsibility. They think that the solution to making change happen is to elect people. And right. it, it absolutely is. That's the inside uh, politics game. Yeah. game. Okay. But the other side of it, and this is where I think a, a lot of progressives just stay. They right. just go to that place. But the other side of it is, you look what just what, what just happened in Sri Lanka. Right. They threw out that government. So fast. And yeah. it was the people who did it. Right. It wasn't elections. It right. was the people who did it. Right. And we have the power as people to come together and cooperate with each other. Right. And and this is a bottom-up way of doing things. Well, you wrote the book on bottom-up. Uh, yeah. The bo what is it? Bottom-up bottom revolution? Bottom-up revolution. Right. Yeah. And, and so... 
the power of bottom up is just incredible. Humans evolved to, to, to be bottom up people, to interact and relate in bottom up ways. And we forget about it because we get stuck. We go to school in authoritarian uh, school systems. We go to churches and synagogues that are all authoritarian and patriarchal. And we get, our brains get narrowed and, and formed. So that's the way we think and that's the way we see the world. But it isn't that way. Right. And we have power that we're just not tapping. And we need to tap it. And we need to remember it. And when we think, well, we got to elect people. Yeah, yeah, you got to elect people, but you got to do a lot more than that. We got to come you together. Gotta we got to cooperate. We got to act in collectively. Right. Now, the collective is a concept that right wingers despise. Right. They, they, they think collective and they think communism. I think collective and I think we the people doing things all together. Right. And that's what we need to do. And so every time there's a problem, we've got to think, how do we do it within this system? And how do we push and how do we make the change happen outside? And if you don't have both, you're not doing the full job of addressing the situation. Now that you're speaking like that, I want to almost promote your book right now again. So let's do, let's do that. Sure. Please do. <laughs> well, I I did a radio show for about 12 years called The Bottom Up Show. And right. I, I, I started seeing that there's bottom up is a way of doing things that applies all over the place. Mm -hmm. And and I learned that humans evolved to be bottom up in the way that their neurophysiology functions. Right. We evolved in small hunter-gatherer bands. Right. And th we evolved to have what I call connection consciousness. Right. We're all connected to each other. We're all connected to the environment and our uh, ecosystems. Right. And if you don't think that way, then you're not really connected to everybody else. And I think that it's essential that we remember that. We lost that when civilization happened. And civilization created hierarchy. It created c control. Right. And, you know, civilization came with the control of animals and land. Uh -huh. And when we did that, we gave up our freedom. And, and, and But that's how humans evolved for six million years. We've had civilization for 10,000. Mm -hmm. Six million years of evolution so that we lived collectively, cooperatively, and then civilization has forgotten it. You know, you got religion, which en enabled power and hierarchy, mm -hmm. and we need to just really get back to the other way, and we can do it, and there are lots of ways to do it. And in what I did in my book is I interviewed Hundreds of people, I narrowed it down to 110 interviews with people from Bernie Sanders to Rian Eisler to uh, Jack Dorsey, the founder of Twitter. Right. And Craig Newmark, the founder of Craigslist. And I, so I talked about Internet, but I also talked about economics and community because there are different there are top down and bottom ways, bottom up ways of approaching community. Right. Even. And uh, they're simple solutions and we forget them. And we've forgotten so many of them because civilization came along and changed everything and changed our focus. But we can do this. We can make it happen. And people are making it happen. Like there are non-hierarchical management styles mm -hmm. now. And it's just a different way of thinking. And it starts with connection consciousness. I interviewed you on, on your bottom up a revolution book and I can I can tell folks that I you know you ought to be impressed with that and I, I agree with you wholeheartedly we all have to look from within at to actually be able to work from without so I am with you on that 100% what would you have liked me to ask you that I didn't I think you did a great job thank you well Rob Call the publisher editor and everything that runs well, up ed news we've got about 30 volunteer editors so yes. it's not just me okay it's a crew. I, I i i think and you've been involved for a number of well, years well i love up ed news i've been with up ed news for a long time now so i mean and everybody knows that because it's on my bio <laughs> anyway thank you so kindly rob thank you for being here with politics done right
we spend a lot of time deconstructing the news, trying to trying to parse it into a form that everybody can understand. We try to find those little nitpicks where uh, it goes, it flies above the fray, etc. If you really like these videos that we do, I want to ask a big favor. Please go ahead, number one, subscribe to our channel, and number two, please join if you can. Thank you so kindly for watching. Keep watching. Please remember to share. We must populate the entire internet with our progressive message, a message that we know is what most Americans say that they want. So help us please join.